The fourth phase of assembly elections in Uttar Pradesh is underway. More than 1 crore 84 lakh voters are eligible to cast their votes in the 53 constituencies spread over 12 districts will decide the fate of 680 candidates of which 61 are women. Elaborate arrangements have been made to ensure free and fair polling. Patrolling by security forces has been intensified in pole-bound areas. BJP President Amit Shah rules out any post-poll alliance with BSP or any other party in case of a hung assembly in Uttar Pradesh. He also exudes confidence on winning with full majority. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address two rallies in Bahraich and Basti today. President Pranam Mukherjee has pitched for reforms in judicial system to make it more efficient. Speaking at a book release function at Rashtrapati Bhavan, the president said every system needs constant changes as it develops flaws over a period of time. He also mentioned that without sufficient resources, judicial reforms cannot be undertaken successfully. Prime Minister Narendra Modi released the book of judicial reforms recent global trends and presented the first copy to President Pranam Mukherjee. Speaking on the occasion, the Prime Minister said that India has to keep pace with changing technology and the new interdependent global order. He said India has the opportunity to play a key global role. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired his 17th interaction through Pragati, the ICT-based multimodal platform for proactive governance and timely implementation. Prime Minister Modi reviewed the progress towards handling and resolution of grievances related to the telecom sector. Vice President Hamid Ansari has termed business ties of India with Uganda dynamic and key to bilateral relations but said the trade between the countries is yet to reach its true potential. The Vice President was speaking at a India-Uganda business forum where he met President Yoweri Museveni and Vice President and held bilateral talks with them. Counting for posts to 10 municipal corporations including Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation and 25 Zilla Parishads in Maharashtra will begin today. Meanwhile, the process of declaration of results for the Odisha Panchayat elections also to begin. The Election Commission is confident that the economic blockade in Manipur will not impact the poll process in the state. This was stated by Chief Election Commissioner Nazim Zaidi while talking to reporters in Imphal. He said all arrangements are in place to ensure free and fair elections while adding that adequate number of central police forces will be available for each phase. The Supreme Court has refused the Punjab government's plea seeking to postpone the Satla Jamuna Link Canal issue after March 11th and deferred the matter for further hearing till March 2nd. The Apex Court further asked the government of Punjab and Haryana to maintain law and order in their respective states. India has once again told China about the urgent need to declare Jaish e Mohammed Chief Masood Azhar as a proscribed terrorist. Foreign Secretary Dr. S. Jay Shankar, in a meeting with his counterpart Yang Yasui, said the case of Azhar is being pursued by other countries also, not by India alone. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj has sought a report from the Indian High Commissioner in Pakistan about a man lodged in a jail there for the past 32 years. According to a story published in a website, which said Singh has been languishing in Court Lakhpat prison for the past 32 years. The Trump administration has said that its top priority right now is addressing the challenge of illegal immigration and reforms in the legal immigration, including H-1B visas, would come later. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said legal immigration is a completely separate subject. Syria's main opposition group has said it wanted face-to-face -face discussions with government representatives a day before the start of a new round of peace talks in Geneva. During three previous rounds of talks in Geneva last year, the two sides never sat down at the same table, instead leaving UN mediator to shuttle between them. The four-match cricket test series between India and Australia will begin in Pune. On a fairy tale 19-match unbeaten streak, India would seek extension of their incredible dominance on home turf when they clash against an aggressive Australia. The series against the Steve Smith-led side is the fourth and last home series of the 2016-17 season for India. For the first time, seven new Earth-sized exoplanets that may be able to sustain life have been discovered orbiting a star 39 light years away. The discovery reported in the journal Nature represents the first time astronomers have ever detected so many terrestrial planets orbiting a single star.